Hi, Tony here again. Just a, a little something uh, that I've been working on uh, that's been frustrating me with uh, X-Plane uh, recently um, while I've been developing instruments is uh, the uh, the aeroplane keeps switching itself off for uh, a lack of uh, electrical power as I traced it down um, because um, the battery state is modelled within X-Plane so um, I was having to keep um, I can't remember what the uh, option is called. Um, prepare electrical systems uh, for boarding, which would charge in the battery up and and set a few of the other systems up. Uh, but I wanted to try and get away from that, so I just made myself a little uh, battery charger. You can actually charge your battery up uh, as if the alternator was running and charging, but this is a little thing to prep and charge your battery. Um, um, while you're doing that or for keeping the aeroplane ticking over uh, with power uh, so the battery doesn't run flat if you've got the engine stopped um, while you're testing out a particular bit of development anyway so I thought it was a little bit more realistic and a bit of fun just sort of understanding those uh, data refs uh, and uh, how they work so this is what I've put together I've got a, uh, an on off switch a fast and a normal um, charge rate you see a little LED that blinks uh, when it's charging away there and I've got this instant button which gives you an instant uh, charge so you can see it's turned on at the moment if I turn it off we should um, slowly um, see um, that bar this is a progress of your battery uh, state so when it's fully charged obviously the bar should be all the way out over and when it's fully charged you should see the power come up come off so if I just open um, the um, data ref tool quickly the uh, one of the uh, I'm looking at about three data refs here one for the voltage and stuff but the one that handles the charge of the uh, battery is this one um, battery charge um, watt hours um, and uh, you can see it, it's uh, it's an array type here so obviously you get one for, uh, depending on if you've got more than one battery but this is just a Cessna 172 so you can just see there's one number here and we're down to about uh, 32 watt hours. Uh, the maximum for this uh, Cessna 172 happens to be around 240 but it does vary depending on what aeroplane you've got. So let's go ahead and uh, just you can you can obviously edit this uh, data ref so let's go ahead and uh, just change this one to a much lower number such that it gets uh, really low. So what we've got here is the um, you can see now the charge state is uh, very very low and eventually as that number winds down to zero you'll start uh, well you will see the uh, the avionics and the other electrical system switch off because there is no charge left in the battery whatsoever well, we're obviously down to one now we're approaching uh, zero let's just wait until it turns off and uh, we can I can show you the operation of the charger of a completely fat battery there we go so it's gone down to zero and you can see all the avionics are switched off and the electrical systems are off and um, what I was finding is that things were going off, of course, and then I'll be trying to restart the engine and, of course, uh, no turning of the prop whatsoever, no turnover, the starter, just no electrical power. Now, you can cure that by doing that uh, prep for electrical uh, prep systems, electrical systems for boarding. Um, but this is a, a, um, a battery charger version of uh, getting that power up so you can see it's at zero at the moment so if I leave the switch in normal which is a normal charge as when I switch the battery charger on you can see uh, instantly now I've got power on the airplane and my number starts climbing uh, from zero and the LED starts blinking away saying that we're slowly trickle charging the uh, battery and it will eventually get up to um, full charge now that will take time um, depending on the size of your battery in the aeroplane uh, that you've got but I've tried to make that a little bit sort of uh, realistic in terms of on normal it would take a fair time like just like it would take to charge a real battery um, but there is an option to flick this switch to fast if you if you flick it to fast it will charge a lot quicker so look at the update of that thing we're not even quite on one uh, there now um, obviously if you were to turn electrical items off it would uh, stop taking power out of the system so it would charge quite a bit uh, faster you see we're just on one there now so if I flick that to fast you can see the LED blinks a lot faster to indicate that we're in fast mode and you can see noticeably that that bar graph is rising uh, a lot faster and you see now we're, we're, we're jumping up a lot faster here with a 14, 15, 16 
uh, with the charge rate. So there's a way of fast charging, and then of course there's a way of uh, doing an instant charge. If I f if I press the instant button here, it instantly f uh, refills. This year we're up to our maximum 240 there, and it's just trying to uh, drain and recharge, drain and recharge all the time. There, if I turn the charger off, you'll see it's gone from that maximum 240, and now it's just gradually winding its way down. But because we're turn the charger on it's trying to replenish and uh, go down at the same time so there's my little uh, battery charger just a little bit of fun as I said but a, a nice little way of uh, being able to top your battery up or keep your battery topped up while you're working on the aircraft when the engine's not running thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it bye